Hey everybody, hope your day is going well. We are back with a reaction to Shiko Buark Umeo Guri. Uh, the first song I reacted to was incredibly well written. So many layers to it, so many nuance. Of course, a lot gets lost in translation. Uh, you know, if you really speak Portuguese, you get more of the nuance, right? And that's with any uh, language and, and translation. But still, I enjoyed it a lot. And it was so well written that I had to check out more. And this one was recommended quite often. And uh, I said, okay, let me uh, listen to this one. And uh, here we are. Quando seu moço nasceu, meu rebento não era o momento dele rebentar. Já foi nascendo com cara de fome, eu não tinha nem nome para lhe dar. Como fui levando, não sei explicar. Fui assim levando ele a me levar. E na sua meninice, ele um dia me disse que chegava lá. Olha aí, olha aí, olha aí. So, this is really about, you know, Umiyo Guri means my boy, oh my boy. Uh, and really, again, storytelling track. And the person who made this uh, visual uh, added pictures of, of children growing up in poverty. And this uh, lyrics, the first verse really reflects that my child was born. It wasn't his time to be born maybe like born too early he was born looking hungry i didn't even have a name to give him so he wasn't ready how i manage i can't explain so basically from the perspective of the mother i was just managing he was leading me beautiful in such little words already painting the picture of growing up in poverty one day and in his childhood this boy said one day he told me he would make it like get out of the slums get out of poverty and yeah man that's incredible you know people around the world they they it's a lottery right where you're born uh gives you a certain step up in life um you know my 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 father he he, he was born in a village in, in pakistan they have no electricity no no running water and of course he came here so i'm lucky that that I, that my father came here in Belgium and I grew up here. That's already a step up, even though we didn't have, you know, that much. It's still more than he had when he grew up in a village with no electricity, no running water. So already you're you're you you have more uh, chances, opportunities in life uh, just by having uh, food, running water, electricity. You know. So, wow, only in that little, you know, the perspective of a mother struggling to, to raise her child. Man. And then he's saying, one day I'm going to make it, mom. That's already making emotional. É o meu guri, e ele chega. Chega suave e veloz do batente, traz sempre um presente pra mim tabular. Seu moço que haja pescoço pra enfiar Me trouxe uma bolsa já com tudo dentro Chave, caderneta, terço e pato lá Um lenço e uma tenta de documento Pra finalmente eu me identificar Olha aí, olha aí Ai, o meu guri, olha aí Olha aí É o meu Hmm. Wow. 
relógio, pneu, gravador Leva até ele chegar cá no alto Essa onda de assalto está um horror Eu consolo ele, ele me consola Bota ele no colo pra ele menina De repente acorda, olha pro lado O danado já foi trabalhar Olha aí, olha aí Ai, o meu guri, olha aí Olha aí, meu É o meu guri Olha aí, ele chega Oh, wow Chega estampado, mancha Oh, wow Ok, ok, ok So, the person who put this video this, These images over it Without it, I might have not Gotten it this quickly So the boy basically comes home with gifts for his mother, which implying he has work, he made it, you know, he, he's bringing in some money so he can give his mother something back, right, for, for raising him, which is beautiful. Um, but of course, you know, growing up on the streets, and I can, you know, I have a little bit of experience in that. Uh, can't really go into that, but I, I, <laughs> I really understand that part of it and where life brings you and you make certain decisions in life because you said you're going to make it just not how right and your choices are limited as we talked about earlier it's not easy when you grow up in poverty on the streets and you have kind of mentors that also grew up on the street and you're looking at them and you want to be like them and uh, later it goes on there's a wave of robberies is there so, with a picture here implying that he made a couple of choices that maybe not be legal to make money. Ooh, I really enjoyed the flow he's using in this too. It really flowed well. I liked the instrumental in the beginning. It set up with the flute almost and the strumming pattern uh, really, you know, propels it like the story forward. Uh, yeah, man. And uh, it also made me think of that film, uh, uh, Cidade de Deus, City of God, which is a Brazilian film, which I saw when I was young, and I saw it multiple times. Great film. Uh, very heartbreaking film, too, but one of the, one of the best films uh, out there, man. If you, you know, people that watch from Brazil probably already seen this, uh, but if you're not from Brazil and you haven't seen this one, man, it, it, it's a credible film. Chega estampado, manchete, retrato com venda nos olhos, legenda e as iniciais. Eu não entendo essa gente, seu moço, fazendo alvoroço demais. Um guri no mato, acho que tá rindo, acho que tá lindo de papo pro ar. Desde o começo eu não disse, seu moço, ele disse que chegava lá. Olha aí, olha aí, olha aí, olha aí, olha aí, olha aí. That was sad, man, at the end there. Just thinking about it, you know, because the it's especially when you do it in such a condensed song, because you see the beginning, we have an innocent little boy uh, that we feel compassionate for because he grew up in poverty and it happens so much. But then he ends up in a life of crime and we start judging those people, you know, but we we never knew the young boy that said he would make it. Um, it's, uh, it's very heartbreaking, right? Cause you know, especially when, you know, we come from a position of privilege and we look down on the people that commit crimes, you know, and it's bad, of course, 
but we you know that we don't understand because we we didn't have the same situation we didn't have the same genetics if you would be in that person's shoes you would have done exactly the same so who are we to be judging that really it's it's a tough one it's a, again a great written song and it really slaps you in the face with the mirror again like yeah man you know there's a lot of people that don't have any opportunities and your choices are limited. Yes, it is a choice to do these things, but, you know, there's not many options, really. It's a tough one, man. It's a tough one, you know, uh, depending, again, on the geographics where you are born. Uh, you could say, like, in the Western countries, it's you have more choices if you then go into a life of crime. That's a different thing than growing up in, you know, uh, in the slums of Brazil. India, Pakistan, you know, where there's really almost no, there's no education or sometimes, you know, I remember my father saying when it was, when it rained, teacher didn't come to school. So there was no school then, you know, and, uh, so already you don't have a good education. So what can you really do then uh, migrate or, you know, go to a different country or, or, or try to make it in your own country with the tools that you have? Man, wow. And again, incredible song, very thought provoking, incredibly layered, beautiful storytelling, uh, singing the instrumental. It's it's there, it's it's so layered, you have to listen to it over and over to get all the nuances. And of course, speak Portuguese would help. Uh, but I'm happy that I listened to it. It really uh again added a lot of insight to my own life. I already know these things, but it's so it's good to to listen to these things and to think about it and, you know, try to do better in some way, right? Beautiful song. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful day. Peace.